Here's the SIN 119 number, I'm sorry, number 16. Now there's a, le I did a lecture video on rational root theorem already, um, so I don't want to take a long time explaining what I already explained in the lecture video for that lesson that had rational root theorem in it, but um, let's find the original problem. Number 16 says, apply the rational root theorem to list the possible rational roots of the equation. So what you do is you grab the roots of the constant, and then you, sorry, you grab the factors of the constant, and then you make a fraction, you put those on as a numerator um, with a fraction bar, and then you grab the factors of the lead coefficient. So what did I just say? I said you grab the constant, the constant was three, and you grab the lead coefficient, which was 8. The constant is the number that doesn't have any x's on it, and the lead coefficient is the number that has the high, the x to the highest power. And then you, you make a fraction bar, and you list the um, ways you can multiply to make 3, like 1 times 3, or negative 1 times negative 3. Down here, the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, you know, you could do it the plus way or the minus way. So 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. Okay, so then you want to, um, so, so what this does for you is it gives you a list. I'll show you how I got my list in a second. Um, it gives you a list of all the things that could possibly divide evenly into your polynomial. Or in other words, all of the things, I usually use this if I'm trying to um, do synthetic division and I'm trying to guess numbers to divide in, like say 1 and negative 1 didn't work. I wouldn't try 2 because it's not on my list. It gives you the candidates that could possibly be roots for the polynomial that these numbers came from. Okay, so how do I get this long, long list? I go 1 over 1 gave me that one, 1 over 2 gave me that one, and 1 over 4 gave me that one, and see how you have to make it go to each one of them? 1 over 8 gave me that one. So now I'm done with the ones. I paired it with everything. So then I'm going to use the 3. 3 over 1 is 3. 3 over 2 is 3 halves. 3 over 4, 3 fourths. Okay? And there's a lecture video on that if you didn't quite understand what I was talking about.